Greetings and salutations my friends, welcome to How To YouTube A Complete Guide, Episode 6. So today, we're going to talk about really useful programs and websites that you can use. Some of them will save you time, some of them will increase your audience, some of them just makes things a lot, lot easier and are really useful tools. So let's get straight into it. So in the last section of today's video, I just want to talk about a few little really useful programs and websites that you might not know of. Um, the first one, I, I did mention it in a previous video, and it's called Social Blade. And if, if you're like me, you know, you've got your own YouTube analytics, okay? So you can go into your YouTube analytics, see how many subs you've got in the last month. But the good thing about Social Blade is you can keep an eye on your competition and, and see how you're doing it because it's always it's always hard to know if you're doing well at something if you if you've only got your numbers who's to say you're doing well or badly you know it, you've got no idea you need to compare yourself against others so what i like to do is find co channels with very similar content to me my direct sort of similar age of channel similar amount of videos or similar subscriber base and start sort of you know keeping an an odd eye just having a look at them on social blade maybe every month just to see how well they're doing because what you might notice like for instance as a football manager channel um let's say august i have quite a bad month in august and i didn't gain as many subscribers as i normally do and has my content got worse or is there something else and what i can do is go and look in at five or six other youtubers that do very similar things to me and then if i discover that they're all they've all had a fantastic month then maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe I'm not doing enough videos. Maybe my videos aren't good enough. Maybe I need more variation or to do something new. But if their their figures, their subscribers for that month have also gone down, then maybe it's just the time of the year. Less people are watching Football Manager videos because in, in the anticipation of the new game coming out in a few months' time. So it's a really useful tool. Um, it gives you like a grading as well, which is, yeah. It's got like, <laughs> this, is my, this is my favorite thing. Estimated yearly earnings. It's so broad, you could, between $1,100 and $18,000, I'll let you know, it's closer to the, it's quite a lot closer to the $1,100, I'll actually talk about, I'm quite open with money and stuff, so I will be talking about that when we talk about sort of revenue and marketing and stuff like that, so stay tuned for a future episode, but it's a nice little tool, um, you know, to see your subs and all that sort of stuff. You get a live sub count, you know, so you can see yourself going up or down. So the second program I want to talk, the first program I want to talk about in this section is a, a program called Handbrake. And if, like me, you have shitty internet, thank you, Northern Ireland, um, this is a invaluable tool. So once you've recorded your video and then you've edited it, and you've rendered it into one big video file. It's usually, if you render it a really good quality, it's usually like a big, big file, especially for a 30 minute Let's Play video. So it takes a long, long time to upload it to YouTube. And what Handbrake does is, I don't know how technically it works, magic, I'm just gonna call it magic. It basically, you input the file, you hit start, and it basically creates a new video file that's the same as the previous one, but is a third of the size. So it goes from six gigabytes to two gigabytes or one and a half gigabytes. And there's various ways you can set this up. You need to be careful when you're setting it up. There's some really good, again, some really good YouTube tutorials, how to set up Handbrake for the best quality. Because you can actually damage the quality of the origin of the video because you've downgraded it so much, you might end up with a tiny little file because it's really awful quality but if you put everything at max there is no notable noticeable difference between your original rendered file and your handbrake file apart from the fact it's a third as big so really really useful program i use this for every single one of my videos and it's free as well by the way so that's always nice so the third program i'm going to talk about is a program called tube buddy it's actually an app that goes in your um, um, thingy majiggy doobie flobble. Uh, it's YouTube certified. Um, it's basically a, a browser extension. That's the magical words I was looking for. Again, it is free, um, but there is a paid version and you get more options and stuff. It's really, really, really useful. Um, not only do you see 
um, when you look at somebody's channel, not just your own, when you some, look at somebody's channel or video, you can hit this channel analytics button and you can see how well they're doing on subscribers and stuff like that and everything. So it's good, you know, again, to keep an eye um, on your competition. If we go, if I just do a little search here um, and go and sort of work the space, who's the one, the biggest football manager YouTuber there is. Um, I can see his analytics for the sort of last month, see how well he's doing. Just, you know, I'm just saying, not rubbing it in, but look look at the difference there. <laughs> I think that's because he has the entirety of the community watching him and he's got to that sort of size, but, uh, you know, it's nice. Um, and then, all, but also a really useful tool. We'll talk about SEO and tags and descriptions and titles in much more detail later on in the series. But um, what you can do is check on somebody's video and have a look at the tags they've used. So, uh, Jack, aka Work the Space, you you need to watch my SEO video because that's horrifically bad. Um, just 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 saying. Um, and then you can look at stats and you know the like ratio and and etc cetera, etc cetera, and tools. Um, it's really really useful. It does this thing when you upload a video because it's embedded into your browser. When you're uploading a video, you can get it to suggest tags related to your searches and all this sort of stuff. It's a brilliant, it does loads more, but go check it out. It's totally free. And then you can decide if you want to upgrade to a paid version because you get a few, a few more extra bits and stuff like this. <clears throat> the final thing I want to talk about is a resource called YT Talk. Learn, share, create. And it's a forum so completely free to use and all that sort of stuff. It's a forum for YouTube creators. Now, I found this a long time ago when I first started out and it has been invaluable. It has been a really nice place because it's great talking because, you know, if I talk to my mum or my missus, it might, to be fair, my missus Curly, she's brilliant and she takes a real interest in it. But when I'm talking to my nephew or my brother about my YouTube exploits, they couldn't give less of a shit if they tried, right? They, you know, they don't understand it and stuff. So having a place where you can go and talk to other people in exactly the same position as you is really, really useful. As well as like the standard stuff, there's, there's a place that you can post your videos, although that's not really where this is for. Um, but you can post your videos there and get a few extra views and everything like that. But the big thing is getting tips and trips, chip, the tip, tips and tricks and stuff like that, like strategies and technique advice, branding and channel design. Lots of people having really long conversations, really interesting stuff, improving their content. You can go in there and ask for a channel review if you like. So you can say, look, what do you think of my channel art or what do you think of my latest video? That sort of thing. Video editing, recording software, scripts, monetization, networks. Never join a network. I'll talk about that later, but just ne don't do it. Um, copyright claim. Collaborations. There's a really, really thriving community of people looking to join, meet up for collaborations and do videos on each other's channels and stuff like that. Really, really, really useful site. I've used it for a long time. Um, there's a... Um, YouTube video marketing strategy and SEO forum. That sounds exciting. Um, I'd just like to point out that I have the most popular guide here, which is a how-to SEO guide that's had uh, a few thousand hits. Um, I'll talk about SEO <coughs> in a lot more detail, but I did this big example. It took me ages to write, about four in the morning, but I was, you know, I was awake and I thought, right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write an SEO guide because, you know, that's the sort of exciting person I am. Um, but it's... I. I say to anyone starting out YouTube, even if you've been doing it a few years, join YT Talk, introduce yourselves on the Introduce forums, get chatting to people. It's really, really, really useful. I can't stress this enough. It's free. Why would you not do it? One of the other programs I wanted to talk about is a website called Social Blue Book. It's a really interesting. It's relatively new um, to the YouTube scene. And basically, it's really helpful for new creators. Like when you, this isn't so much for when you get started, but relatively early on, you will either be approached by companies or start approaching companies to do what's called brand deals or sponsored videos or something along those lines. And what Social Blue Book does is it takes into account various analytics from your channel, like such as um, the amount of subscribers you get, the amount of views you get, the age of your 
age, gender and country of your viewers. Um, also things like average views per video, likes per video, comments. Obviously, you know, they want engaged people and gives you a rough and it is rough estimate of what you should charge when um, you're looking to do a brand deal. So um, I haven't done this for a couple of months. Last time I checked... The suggested price and um, for a dedicated upload for a brand deal. So if PG Tips come in for me, because I do drink a lot of tea, um, you know, call me PG Tips, call me, yeah. Um, but if PG Tips came in to me and said, look, you know, we want you to do a video all about our new triangular, not triangular, it's too close to pyramid, our new hexagonal tea bags, then I could charge roughly anywhere between 234 to $1,112 for that dedicated upload. It gives you the mean average there. Um, this was done a couple of months ago. So it does, it changes. So you can upgrade, you can refresh it and you can ch and see because the market price might have dropped. Your channel might have gained more subscribers and views and stuff. But um, the ad rates, obviously, re YouTube and stuff have gone down recently, so it might go down. We'll have a look. Let's refresh it. It could be time of the year, all that sort of things, and it keeps you up to date on that sort of stuff. And it's not saying this is what you should charge. It's just saying here's a better idea. So it's, it's dropped by three dollars. Um, my channel's grown quite a lot in the last two months. Another sort of two two and a half thousand subscribers, but you know, time of the year, all that sort of stuff. Um, also, like um, a shout out or just a link in the description that sort of thing and it's really good and you can also from this screen you can actually send them a quote so the company that you're interested in you can just put in their email address here and it sends them this quote which is really really useful um if you want to just gauge because you know most of us when we start a youtube channel have no idea what we should charge if we've got twenty thousand subscribers and we're sitting here going some company goes look we want you to do this and you're like do I ask for a hundred dollars? Do I ask for a thousand dollars? I've got no, absolutely no clue whatsoever. So, and it's even got things like your Twitter. So it takes into account your Twitter followers. It's the same thing, but on Twitter, apparently I can charge $13 for a tweet to my two and a half thousand followers. Um, or a photo for a photo. <laughs> it's brilliant. And it's just interesting. Even if you never use it, it's just a quite interesting thing. Engagement is A+. plus. Thank you, viewers, for being so engaged. Loving it. Loving it. Um, but yeah, so it's so it's a really useful tool if you need to put a quote, if you get approached or you start approaching companies. Like I said, this is just a rough idea. This is a guide price. You might, you know, you might decide that actually maybe that's asking a bit too much. So, and I probably would, to be honest. Um, but I have no experience. So, I would probably, for the first company that approached me, because I'd want to do a good job, I might go in a little bit lower, maybe 400 and say, look, this is my price. What do you reckon? You know, or you can go with the middle ground. Who knows? You know, this that, just use this as a guide and go from there. So a couple of uh, related programs or, or sorry, websites that I wanted to sort of show you guys is more about community building. And the first one I'm going to look at today is Steam. There is an excellent Steam group option available on Steam and it's I find it really useful. It's only a recent addition um, to my YouTube channel. I decided to create a Steam group and it's it's been brilliant. So what I've done is got 440 members already and what I've done is created this Steam group because it really helps build community and that is a massive part, part of the enjoyment of having a YouTube channel is having this community that's just fantastic but also you know, for keeping people watching your videos, entertained, if they feel more involved, they get more involved with the videos and stuff like this. And not only is having any sort of group um, really useful, especially a place where you can all hang out and stuff like that. Steam is is excellent because as well as having like a basic sort of forum and stuff like that, I can also do game reviews and everything like that. Um, we have discussion pieces, but also I can see the other members of the Steam group and see what games they're playing. So any gaming channel, I say it's well worth getting a Steam group on the go because you have a bunch of people you can see like what games they're playing. You can arrange games to play with them, especially if you're making video collaborations, that sort of stuff. You can say, look, any any five of you available to make a video? You know, that sort of thing. It's really, really useful and just really good fun to have a place where you can hang out, especially early on when you can't afford, like if you don't want to go down the route of having a website with your own forums and stuff like that. Steam groups is a great way to do it. 
The second sort of community tool that I want to show you today is a program called Discord. It's available on as a browser on your mobile. You can even download the program, which if you use it regularly on a desktop, I'd suggest download the program. And it's sort of similar to Steam in a way. There's a sort of, you know, you invite people in, they can join the group. You've got this basic sort of chat functionality. Um, you can see sort of a, a bit of what they're up to, whether they're away from keyboard or logged off and all that sort of good stuff out of Steam. You lose a bit of the Steam integration aspect of it and the gaming stuff, but it's still very useful. But it also has the upside of being able to, as well as having these channels names here and subcategories, you can also have voice channels. So, you know, if, if there's a bunch of you playing Football Manager, you can just get in there and chat while you're playing Football Manager. Or you want to make a video and you're like, okay, get in voice chat, guys. Let's, let's make a collaboration video, you know, because you, you can use Skype and stuff for that, but having that all in one place is really, really useful. I think, um, and this this is obviously Steam is gaming related, but Discord you could use for anything. If you've got a beauty channel, you can have all sorts of different subcategories for that. A sports channel, a vlogging channel, anything could work with this. It's really, really useful in that sort of front. You know, it's. I think it's a either use both or one of these tools to help grow and bind your community together. Because to help build a community, you want people to, obviously the first thing is enjoy your content, but then, and talk to you in the comments and stuff. But what you want to do is get them all talking to each other and becoming all friends with each other. Because that's what makes a proper community. That's what makes it so much fun when you get a good community on the go. You know, I've only been really build sort of focusing on this sort of community other than sort of youtube comments um for a month or so but we've got 400 plus people in our steam group and i think it's really really useful so i would suggest at least using one of these programs so there we go guys another video done i hope you enjoyed it and got something useful out of it if you have any questions on the subjects we talked about in this video then please leave them in the comments and i'll do my best to answer them um i'm also going to do a live q a at the end of this series on youtube so if you want to talk um have any more questions or want to go a bit more in depth or something we haven't talked about before then make sure you join me on that stream also subscribe if you're new um also you know if you've got your own tips to share Put them in the comments. Let's help each other grow. You know, I'm not the world's expert of YouTube. I'm just showing you what I've learned. But if you've got your own tips and tricks, then please do leave them in the comments. Get involved and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much for joining me, guys. Love you all. Bye bye.